day has completed, so I'm sweaty and record a bit now. Hello, welcome <laughs> to Vlog. Welcome to the episode 2 of London Diaries where you'll see how a clinical attachment and how living in London looks like. In my case, it was at the London's oldest hospital. Yeah, I'm not kidding. In fact, it was celebrating its 900th anniversary whilst my time being here. So, let's dive in. Woke up, I stretched a little. I don't want to waste this morning because it's sunny. So I'm gonna go walking. There's a park over there near the house, but I couldn't find a way to get in from there. Oh, I can see the moon. Can you? I asked the security guy if I could take a walk here, and he said, Yeah, so I'm in. There is an historical building. Check it out this out I am going to the British Library I want to study a bit because I want to refresh anesthesiology before my attachment starts after studying I will go to the Hyde Park because the volleyball team that I have played with the other day one of them invited me to play so sounds like it will be a great day now you see me studying at the British Library by the way I really want to encourage those who aspire to pursue a clinical attachment just like me and I want to emphasize that I wasn't able to do this with the advantage of someone helping me or a family connection in the medical field and certainly not just because I was financially lucky because I was not so if you ever find yourself feeling stuck thinking I cannot do it I don't have enough money I don't know anyone to help me I don't know how to find a hospital just stop Yes, you can. You only need to take two initial steps. First, planning. And second, a bit of action every day for a decent amount of time. If you commit to these two things, I promise it's highly likely you'll achieve what you want to do. It's my first day at the hospital. I'm in a hurry. I mean, it's not late, but I should get prepared in 20 minutes. This is officially my first day. I'm in the changing room, waiting for my supervisor to come. First day has completed, but I couldn't record anything because you know I was trying to discover stuff. Oh, this is the way out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Has it been raining? This is my card. Look at it. This is the garden light. This is the historical fountain in the middle. This is the big building that I have my placement currently, and there are other buildings, and they're all so nice. I got off from the train and now I'm heading to the hospital. This is the main entrance of the hospital, aka the King Henry VIII Gate. It was built in 1702 and what makes it really special? About the archway stands a statue of him and it's the only such statue in a public space in London. Really nice. It's 
1 p.m. and I observed some ward rounds. The situation was urgent and the patient was not doing really good. So the chest was actually has been open for I guess a week then they close it maybe yesterday it went first so they opened the chest again and it was quite strange to see an open chest operation just you know at a unit and yeah I had my lunch I'm just sitting in the doctor's office then I'll take a look at the units again it's been hard. Weather is still nice. My way is that way. Now I'm heading to the Italian restaurant to work for the closing time. Even though I have to work after the hospital and it's really tiring, especially my feet hurt a lot. But I get to socialize and you know talk to people. That's nice. See how I walk? I'm literally limping. And I don't think it's gonna be good tomorrow either. Call themselves. They sound like a very challenging case and they've had a, on paper a great scene time and, uh, and, and done a lot in that time. This is how an empty room and perioperative medicine in St. Bart's looks. Let's go. Today was fulfilling. I am trying to learn as much as I can. Look at that view. So oh, nice. I mean, could have just left by 6 p.m. but just wanted to stick with a bit more because I decided to take a little bit of rest in the morning. It felt good though, you know, it just hit the spot. I mean, my feet are just better than yesterday. That's the end of the way. Coming in. I'm off to the hospital. What do you mean? Um, so this one is what do you mean? What do you mean? This is a, a little copper beach. Going to the afternoon work route. All right, let me find a quiet place and talk about my first week at the hospital. So, um, my first week has been completed. Today is Friday and it was so far so good. I have met with lots of consultants, anesthetic registrars, other medical professionals that I haven't been aware of their titles before, like PAAC or sister so i have been trying to familiarize myself with the english medical terminology that is used in the hospital for example most of the english abbreviations are not really familiar for me and we look at the past medical history or drug chart when i see something like today i saw loc and i'm like mm, what is it what is it what is it and i ask and learn that it's loss of consciousness and someone tells you it's simple but before that all of them seems a bit complicated due to the fact that I didn't study medicine in English other than that I really like the energy and how friendly and helpful even the consultants are all of them tells me ask anything you want and I actually ask lots of questions anyways this is all I'm going to say for the first week so see you next week Going down. Door closed. Weather is nice. I'll be taking a picture.
pictures with my camera. I'll go to Old Street, meet a friend there. After completing the first week of my observership, I'm finally discovering taking pictures. I found this small street, which is really lovely. What's wrong with that? Okay. And now I'm in Old Street, and the ground was so sweaty and hot. Buses like that, but I didn't know that they're electric. I am meeting a friend who is coming from Leicester for me. Önce de o gelecek partisi de parti seydi. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Sallah. Ne? Sallah mı? El Sallah. What does that mean? I don't you know. You don't know it? Ev. Hey. Sallah. Oh, okay, okay. Hayır, El Sallah. El Sallah. Uh -huh. Ah. You know the song? Sallah, Sallah, <laughs> Sallah. Okay. So you can choose the specialty in high school? So yeah, you, you can, can focus either on... choose like physics, chemistry, math, or biology, or... I'm gonna record a bit now. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Vlog. El Sallah. <laughs> yeah. If I used my brain a little bit, I would be as smart as Kadev. <laughs> yeah. So nice. The duck went like, okay, I'm out of this. <laughs> it's a picnic. You like the sandwich? Of course, I'm eating it. You're lying. Uh, London. Uh, come, go. Get it. Good <laughs> shoes. Resemblance? Yeah, it looks like the girl yeah. that is that way. And she, like, like a shy girl. She's gonna turn and look mm. at it. That was a nice description of the tree. <laughs> okay, dear. These ones are really aggressive sometimes, you know? Do not. It's less expensive, isn't it? For example, these ones just one pound. Huh? That one, yeah. Yesterday, this is called the spike building, the shark building, something like that. Shark or spike, one of them. Check this out. <laughs> Yeah. There are waves. Waves. Yeah. Maybe. 